Hello and welcome to Lofty Made Vlogs. My name is Tracy and I'm the host of the Knitting on the Float podcast. <sighs> Look at this glorious sunshine. It is another beautiful one in the Vancouver area and I have definitely been enjoying the wonderful weather we've been having in May. I hope that wherever you are, you have been enjoying your weather too, but I'm sorry to say I can't imagine it can be any better than this. Today I have a couple of helpers and they are going to aid me in completing today's task. And today's task is moving the bench from my walk-in closet and putting it up in the loft. It is going to involve a bit of prep work on my part and that is going to be just moving things out of the space that the bench will go into. So it'll take a few minutes for me to prep it out, but once I've done that the boys can help me. So let's get to today's task and then once we're done that we can enjoy a little bit of nature and of course some tea and some craft chat. On the dock today we have creatures. Isaac and Nathaniel are helping to straighten out our utility room a little bit and they're looking at issues with the bikes and they are going to help me today with the task at hand but first they're going to pump up a tire. Today's task is actually relatively quite easy. Yesterday you may remember these plastic bins from upstairs. They now have sheets and things in them and are up on the shelf in my walk-in closet. Today we are going to move the white bench out of this closet and upstairs. So a simple task. I just need some extra hands to help me. Today's task does involve a little bit of prep work and that's what I'm going to do while the boys are working downstairs on the bikes. I'm going to move the bins just over a little bit. I might stack them even higher and then all of the circular sock machine, my sewing machine, my blocking mats, and all of these other things, including these two bins, need to be moved over a bit. And here we are. All of the things have been moved. Everything has just been pushed to the side so that this area here is now clear and the bench can go in here. I also, changed the direction of the carpet. The ultimate goal is to have the bench here and then overlooking the sitting area downstairs to have the circular sock machine and also this lovely little stool with the spinning wheel. And then hopefully with the bench mo being moved up here, we can deal with some of the things that are in these bins. I have been working on the loft and I am very thankful today that Greg and Isaac are working on the utility room. They have pulled out the bikes and the scooters and they are doing a bit of organization because this definitely needs to be done. The other reason it is great to get this area cleaned out is it's kind of a safety thing. This leads to the main living area. It would be good to be able to get out to the dock safely if there were an emergency to happen. Oh my goodness. Look at these goslings. Look how much they've grown. They are definitely chunky and growing well. So there are two here and then there is another. Oh, there are two over there as well. I thought there was just one, but there are two. So chunky geese. The dock is now cleared and that means the utility room must be done. So 
Now we can move the bench. It is now time to move the bench. It looks like Isaac is gonna try and do it all on his own, even though he has help. I think going up the stairs, I would like you to maybe work together, please. One finger. Oh, you think you can do it with one finger, do you? Okay, and up the stairs they go. Careful of the pictures. And, yay! I like these days when I get to watch the action taking place rather than doing it myself. But as we all know, I've done quite a bit already. Where's it going? It's going against the railing on the craft side. The big open space I just cleared out, perfect. Yep, and just uh, the other way. This way? Yes. Perfect. Right in the corner? Um, yeah, it's easily moved. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. No, I said thank you to you. Thank you. Oh, you're so silly. The Tuggies are out and about today. This is Tug Away, and I guess he's going to get a boom of logs. I don't see any of the other tugboats with him, so I'm not sure whether he'll be coming back with logs or whether he's out doing another task. I just popped out, and look, it's Bendy. He's here to see us today. We haven't seen him in a few days. The waves that are happening now is from that tugboat tug away left those waves. Hello, Bendy. I'm not sure where Prancer and Dancer are. I heard that they had seven eggs in a clutch. So I'm hoping that they are taking care of their little cygnets. And here is Bendy. And oh, those waves are a little much. Good afternoon. How are you today? This is the one the other day that he started to fly. I pressed record. I couldn't see the record button. So unfortunately, I pressed it again. But oh, it would have been spectacular. I have a tiny clip. It's two seconds long. It gets cut off really abruptly. Maybe I'll put it in just for posterity's sake. Anyway, there is Bendy today. And let's take a look at how the bench looks. So the bench is now in place and it has a good amount of storage just underneath. I think my original thought was to put the yarn into bins inside just to keep it sort of neat and tidy. But I think I'm gonna follow suit with the cabinet and just keep them in the Ziploc bags and I don't want to say stuff them in, but you know, stuff it in there. Put it in as nicely as possible, organize it as best as possible, but use that amount of space to its fullest ability. So there is the bench. It is a nice small one, great to just sit at. I'm not sure if it's going to be moved a little this way or a little that way. That will be figured out once I start getting things like the spinning wheel and the circular sock machine in place. And even if I put the circular sock machine at the end here or at the end here, this could be a place to sit and work on the circular sock machine as well. So. <sighs> slowly 
but surely coming along. And let's just take a quick peek at this. Something arrived in the mail today. So we will go downstairs, chatter about crafting, and open a nice brown paper package. It is mid-afternoon and I am just getting to my first cup of tea now. I will admit I did have a lovely glass of cold brew tea and I had used a chamomile with rosehip blend. It was absolutely delicious. I did notice somebody had gotten to it first though. Not sure which of the boys did that. It's now time to sit for a few minutes and chatter about crafts. Last night, I worked on the mystery project, so I can't share what that is, but I can share the yarns. I am holding all of these yarns double with mohair. So last night, I was working with the full skein that I wound up of this glorious mixture of colors. This is called Afterglow, and this is a Nora George Yarns colorway. And, well, I'm just, doing that part right now. I have been putting rainbow colors in this project and I started off with red. Now these are all Miss Babs Yummy Two Ply Toes, so little minis. So I started with red, went into the orange and woo, throwing yarn around. Why? So the Roy for the rainbow and now we're into the G, the lovely green. Now here's where we go a little bit off. We have teal instead of the blue, but it's a greeny blue going in and I had left the blue on the table. This gorgeous, gorgeous blue has now been knit in and unless you want to say blue, indigo, and then we're getting into the purple. I am excited for when I get to wind this one up and then the final color I will be putting in is this glorious one. So this one is Dark Pleiades, Pleiades and this one is Dark Cassiopeia. So all together, this project is knitting up beautifully, especially when it's being used with this one too. So. I'm not sure when I will be able to share this mystery project, but I hope when I finally do that you love it as much as I am. And I'm holding the whole thing double with mohair, so some hedgerow mohair silk. And it is squishy, it is soft, it is cuddly, it is amazing. And it is living in this bag. So that was the knitting I worked on yesterday. I did not work on the Sock Society last night, but hopefully today that will be one of my focuses. The other exciting thing is I got a brown paper package today. I know it's not quite brown, it's not paper, but it is a package and I will take that for the win. Earlier in the month, I was talking about figuring out something for Nathaniel's door. So I showed you Isaac's door. He has his Oscar the Grouch Sesame Street cross stitch that I did way, way back when. And oh, it is absolutely adorable. And I was trying to figure out what the best thing for Nathaniel would be. Cause I just, I know it's really kitschy, but I love it. And I wanted something that was very similar. So I looked up all the other Sesame Street ones that were released by the same producer. Let me just open this. Oh, there's lots and lots of... It's wrapped. Here we go. Brown paper package. So, definitely well protected. So this, what I did was I purchased a vintage pattern set and I got this off of Etsy, a seller off of Etsy. There we are. And it's still bubble wrapped even more. And 
This is a Jan Lin, just like that one is a Jan Lin pattern set. And I am struggling to get through this whole set. I believe it was mailed from West Virginia, so it has made a, an international voyage and a very far one at that. So I'm just gonna try and rip as best as I can. You know what? I may be best to just cut away for a moment get the scissors out and make this a little easier for all of us. Phew, the Jan Lin pattern is now free. What happened was we decided to have a consultation to see what the best course of action was. And I started off with Nathaniel and I said I was wanting to buy a pattern, same frame and same theming with the Sesame Street. And I showed him the ones that the vintage Jan Lin ones that were available and he didn't love any of them however there was one that i actually felt was a little bit more suitable for isaac and oscar the grouch is actually a little bit more suitable for nathaniel sometimes so we are going to i know he seems so sweet but he can be a little bit grouchy sometimes as can all kids anyway we're going to move the frame and the piece with the Oscar the Grouch over to Nathaniel's door. I'll get one of those command strips and put it on his door. And I have purchased this one to make for Isaac. And it is Cookie Monster. And this one is actually just perfect for Isaac. And so when I asked Isaac, what do you think about this? He was very happy with the idea of having Cookie Monster and was quite willing to give his brother the Oscar the Grouch for his door. So that was my sneaky purchase, but I just wanted to have the loft looked, look really pulled together. So I'll have my Oscar the Grouch and my Cookie Monster upstairs amongst that beautiful loft when it is all finished. And of course, I need to get to work and get this done finished and then I have some of the lovely ribbon that I used on Isaac's to put on this one as well although I guess it's not Isaac's anymore anyway that was what was in my lovely well-wrapped brown paper package and oh, I know I want to start now but I also have so many other things to do but it shouldn't really take me all that long to do this. It's on eight o'clock, right? So should be a very, very simple thing. And it's always the back stitching that takes the longest, isn't it? And speaking of cookies, you know what goes great with cookies? Tea. And we have not had tea yet, or at least I haven't. It is mid-afternoon. And I think I need some caffeine. Today I am drinking out of my lovely Marjolaine Bestan tulip mug. And upstairs in the past couple of weeks, we have come across the tulip lamps. And these were all from Hallmark and a whole set. So I have the lamps. I had all of these cups, but I donated all but one because we have switched out and these ones get really quite warm they're beautiful which is why i had to keep one but i have so many beautiful beautiful mugs and i i do love my rendale designs so switch things out anyway today just plain old extra strong marks and spencer tea but that is perfect and thankfully isaac is going to let me switch out the cross stitch. So let us cheer to mixing, matching, and switching things out. Cheers to that. It is a long weekend in Canada. It is the Victoria Day weekend. And for me, that means lots of crafting. Crafting involves working in the loft and vlogging it, but it also involves some cross stitch because this will not be done by the time the loft is done, but it will be fun to start that. 
And then I have the Handmade Sock Society test knit, my other mystery test knit, and my shoe sweet shrug. So I've got lots to keep me busy on this long weekend. And wherever you are, I hope that you are going to have a lovely weekend as well. And I look forward to spending some time with you tomorrow when we get back to working away up in the loft and having a little visit together. See you then. Bye. I discovered where Tugaway went. He went to get this cute little tugboat that he is now pulling up river. You know how they have people guess how many jelly beans fit in the jar? I think it would be fun to have everyone guess how many skeins of yarn can fit in the white bench.